Welcome to module 12 of our management accounting uh, course. In this module, we learn all about relevant costs for making decisions. Uh, a few modules ago, several now, I talked about cost volume profit analysis. I said that was my second favorite module. Well, guess what my favorite module is? This is the one I enjoy the most relevant costs for making decisions because I think it's very applicable whether you end up becoming an accountant or a manager or you just end up living the rest of your life. I think a lot of this information is useful when you're deciding uh, what to do and, and using uh, financial information to help aid in those decisions. And so basically at the core of this chapter is just figuring out what costs will be relevant when you're making a decision and what costs are not relevant. And so there's really two criteria for us to consider a cost relevant. First, it must not be sunk. Uh, and so what do we mean by a sunk cost? A sunk cost is one for which we've already spent the money. We've already paid the bill. It's a sunk cost. Uh, we should not let a past cost, one that we've already paid, affect a future decision. Whenever I think about sunk costs, I think about my friend Frank. And it was a few years ago now, my friend Frank had this car. And the car was a money pit. He would just, every month it seemed like, oh, I got to do the transmission. Oh, the carburetor blew. Oh, my car, something else goes on the car. And I said, Frank, why don't you get a new car? Like, get rid of this car, cut your losses, move on with your life. And you know what Frank said to me? He said, Tony, I have already put too much money into this car. And in saying that, and a lot of people say that, that's a common thing for somebody to say, I've already put so much into this, you know, why, why would I um, get rid of it now? And uh, this is a sunk cost fallacy. Uh, don't let past costs affect your future decisions. So the fact that he's poured money in in the past in no way means this is a good car for him to own in the future. It just means he feels more committed to it. Uh, you see this happen actually at casinos. I'm a big fan of casinos. And sometimes you walk by a slot machine and somebody will been there for hours and they're just, you know, pulling the thing or pushing the button now, I guess. And a lot of what happens to me when I sit at one of those things, if I lose and lose and lose, I go, well, I'm going to win sooner or later. And so, but I'm letting past transactions affect a future decision. And it's simply not the case that just because I've lost and lost and lost, well, the next poll I'm going to win. No, that's, that's absolutely not the case. Um, so again, don't let past costs affect future decisions. The second, uh, thing that will make the second criteria that makes a cost relevant is it must be a differential cost and that's pretty easy to uh, explain because it's got the word different in it so you're choosing between two things the cost has to be different between the alternatives i'm going to give you an example and we're going to analyze some costs and determine whether they're relevant or not relevant so i live in kamloops uh Kamloops airport code is YKA. I'm thinking about flying to LA or to New York. So I want to go to Los Angeles or to New York for a little vacation. Uh, and so, oh my gosh, I don't know the airport codes for LA or New York. Uh, anyway, um, doesn't matter. Oh, LAX for LA, New York. I don't know. Um, so if I go from Kamloops to LA, I actually have to fly through Vancouver, which is YVR, Vancouver, British Columbia, and then on to uh, New York. Sadly, I don't know the air, air co airport code, LAX, and I know there's several airports around New York. So um, this would be my, my flight path. So I'm, I'm debating between the costs of, of doing these things, right? And so here are the costs, my LA trip, my New York trip. Um, so for me to go to LA, uh, I've got to go through Vancouver. So first to Vancouver, to YVR, and a flight from Kamloops to YVR will run me about $200. And I got to do that whether I'm going to LA or New York. Then 
uh, my flight to LAX from Vancouver will run about, let's say, $400. And of course, if I go to New York, I don't have a flight to LAX. My flight to uh, New York will run about $600. It's a much uh, further flight. Now, if I'm going to New York, if you look on a map, you'll see uh, Vancouver to L.A. They're both on the west coast of North America. Uh, Vancouver to New York, you're flying across the continent. It's a much further flight, and it's a much longer flight. And so when I go uh, on a flight like that, I take a pillow. Actually, probably not a big pillow like this. Uh, probably one of those little neck pillows, but I already own a pillow and let's just assume I'm going to take this big pillow uh, And when I bought this pillow, I bought it at Ikea for 40 bucks So if I go to New York, I'm gonna have to take my pillow if I go to LA I'm not taking my pillow because I'm not gonna sleep on that plane. It's gonna be a short flight. So so another uh, cost I guess of flying would be my pillow and it is uh, 40 bucks um also, when I go to these places, I'm going to have to eat meals. Uh, and my meals, let's say I'm going for three days and my meals are $100 a day. So 300 in LA, 300 in New York. And I'm also going to stay at hotels and I'm going to stay at the Holiday Inn in both cities. And it just so happens that the Holiday Inn in New York costs a little bit more than the Holiday Inn in L.A. So for three nights will cost me 500 bucks to stay in L.A. and 600 to stay in New York. OK, now I want to figure out which of these costs is relevant to making my decision. Of course, you know, when I'm budgeting, these are all costs I'm going to have to worry about. But which costs are relevant and which costs are not? Well, I'm going to bring my nice red pen and highlight the costs that are not relevant. When I'm determining, let's assume both trips will be equally fun, right? Both trips will be equally fun and cost is my decision maker here. Well, my flight to Vancouver is $200 if I go to LA, $200 if I go to New York. It's not relevant. I don't even have to think about it. If I'm choosing between LA and New York, the flight to Vancouver is not relevant. And why is it not relevant? It's not differential. Whoa. It's the same between the alternatives. It's not sunk. I haven't paid for the ticket yet, so it's not a sunk cost. It's just not different between the alternatives. Uh, the ticket to LAX versus the ticket to New York. 400 if I go to LAX and Obviously, I don't have to pay for a ticket to go to New York uh, to LAX if I go to New York. So it is differential between the alternatives, and my New York ticket is also different. So, like you know, the flight ticket, 400 versus 600. This is a, a differential cost that is not yet sunk. The cost of my pillow, this $40 IKEA pillow with cute pillowcase. Um, I need it to go to New York. I don't need it to go to LA. So it's a differential cost. But the cost of my pillow is sunk, so I won't consider that because I've already bought it, right? This is a, co a past cost, and you know the fact that I own it already won't affect my decision to go to New York, LA. The fact that I already own a pillow, um, the meals cost. Well, if it's the same meal cost, it's not sunk, but it is not differential, and so that means it is not relevant. The hotel cost. It's not sunk yet, and it is different, so it is a relevant cost. So you can see the relevant cost of going to New York are 1200 bucks. The relevant cost of going to LA are 900 If, and this is a big if, if I think it's going to be an equal amount of fun going to New York or LA, I should go to LA because LA is $300 cheaper. Again, it's a big if. If it's an equal amount of enjoyment, an equal amount of pleasure, I'll derive from the trips based on this relevant cost analysis. And the only relevant costs here are the different costs that aren't sunk. And that's the cost of the flight to LA, the flight to New York, and the hotel difference between the two. If, the, if this is the case and they, they will both make me equally happy, LA is the place for me to go. All right, I hope this has been a, a clear intro to uh, relevant costs. Again, to be relevant, two criteria, not sunk, and different between the alternatives. I'm going to be harping on that throughout our videos today. So stay tuned.